and and to be honest with you, he deserves it, man. As 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 nasty as that scene was, that was one of my favorite scenes to shoot. Yeah, what? I think why? I mean, one because you're working with a strong actor, and I think that's one of my favorite things to do is work, yeah. work with a strong actor. And two, there was a lot of action there. You know what I'm saying? Right, so right. you you get to play in a certain way. I think those two things to me like. I don't know, I just have fun with it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, you on set and you know that, like, this is your last scene. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's dope to be with someone that talented and really cook and, like, have this moment that, like, I remember we shot the scene and, you know, he, he poured it on me and it was quiet. <laughs> it was quiet. Like, you couldn't hear Pete. There was no production. Everybody was just like, yeah. And I'm on the floor, like, holding my breath. Crafty, uh, done setting up the tray. No, nah, nobody. It, it felt like nobody was moving. Damn. So, like, to me, I was like, oh, we just did something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, everybody. And then the director yells, cut. And people were running up to me, are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I ain't gonna lie. I was a little disoriented. But that's because I was still in that kind of yeah. moment. But it's like, to, to have a moment like that, like, I don't think you get... A lot of those too often, you mm. know what I mean. And I think when you do have those moments, whether it resonates with the world or not, because you don't always know that. You don't always know what's gonna blow, what's not gonna blow. Right, right. But in that moment, I know. Okay, you did your thing. I did my thing. We just had this. I can pocket that. At least for me, I'm satisfied with the performance I put up. You ever got beat up in front of your girlfriend before? No, sir. <laughs> 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 Cause I was, I was sitting here, I'm thinking, cause you know how a female they'll probably look at a dude like a certain type of way, and he get beat up in front of her. Yeah, yeah. I wonder how they will feel like if you get beat up and like on like on screen and it's fake. Do she still have the same energy, or she like, oh my baby working hard? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, was, I, I, I feel like if any, if the if like a, a woman sees me get beat up on a TV show and looks at me differently, that's not the woman I need to be with. Nah, facts. <laughs> like, what you like? Come on, yo. <laughs> hey, so so how far in advance do you get the script for the new episode before you film it? I think it's dependent on the project. I've had some projects where I get it like two weeks before. I have some projects where I get it like the Sunday of of the week we shooting it. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So it's dependent. Yeah, cause I know. Do you feel some type of way when you get that that new script and it's a death scene for your character? Yeah, you feel a way. But I think, you know, what I do respect about about uh, Randy, our showrunner, is that he called me and he kind of let me know ahead of time. Like, you know, and, and he was very, you know, Randy has kind of seen me grow. In the, Randy worked on the quad. Right. He was a writer on the quad, you know what I mean? So he's seen me grow, like, from the beginning to, like, to this and... I think he uh, he he called me. He told me he was proud of me and what what I was able to do. And he talked about how like I went to have that one line. And he was like, "No, nah, we got to bring him back." And they kept giving me these opportunities. And then he let me know, like you know, oh. this, this is gonna happen next next episode. I just had to let you know because I didn't want you to open the script, read it, and find out that way. I'd rather you hear it from me personally. So I appreciate that. Right, right. But and and, and, and at first you feel upset like man especially because i enjoyed filming bmf like bmf is probably one of my favorite sets right. that i've worked on um and you know so it, it's it hurts but it's like you know what this was supposed to be one line it's supposed to be one line i'm in season two season two bro you know what i'm saying like i mean i, I ain't even gonna say overstaying my welcome isn't the word that i want to use but it's like yo like you got you got what you came for and more Mm, so right. it's either it's either be upset or be grateful. Yeah, right. And shout out to the people that I got around me. Because I remember I was complaining on the phone with my homegirl. And she was like, well, think about it this way. It could have been a scene where Meech picks up the phone and says, oh, they got Nito? Did At they, least I got a chance to act. Did they really... <laughs> did they, we, we really didn't get to see Nito dying, though. We seen him got violated, but he... Well, I mean, I, I look, nothing is set in stone, but just based off of 
the view of it, you know, he was bleeding out his neck. So unless somebody called the ambulance that's quick, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> Nigga Lamar came back in the second season and this nigga didn't got shot close range in the heart, the head. This nigga back the second season. Lamar is Thanos, man. Then woke up out the bed and killed the nigga. The bro, that's what threw me off. I don't know who wrote that episode. But the episode, Lamar got up out the bed. He killed the dude, the guard. It wasn't a doctor in there with him. So they ended up catching him. They brought him in there. They were trying to get him and Meese to try, try and get Meese to snitch on him. But they're like, oh, yeah, we got to let him go anyway. We ain't got nothing on him. I'm like, y'all don't remember this nigga killed somebody when he got up out the hospital because y'all thought he was dead. But oh, that's neither here nor there, man. <laughs> if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, go back and watch the episode, bro. And it, it was a, it was an outrage on the online too a couple of weeks ago. They were talking about the uh, the scene where the guy that plays uh, Meech, dad, the guy that uh, his name, the character name Charles, what's his real name, Ralph? Uh, Russell Horns. Russell Horns. Which is shout out to him. He's a great actor, man. Really smart. Yo, definitely, man. He always been a dog, yeah. man. They was giving him hell. They been giving him hell for a couple things. <laughs> they been giving him hell because they called him a one minute man. Because he had smashed the, he had smashed the chick down the street and came and smashed his wife. And like they giving him hell on that. Then they giving him hell about when he came in, brought the money on, brought the money in. He went out the room. Then we seen him go out the room again. I think what happened there was there's like a, I believe there's a side door mm. that goes in. So like, imagine this is the wall. Right. This is the kitchen. There's a door here. Cameras here. Right. Or cameras here, better said. He went here. So Baze just went in a circle. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not the director, man. I hey, think. shout out to the director over there, man. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Hey, you can't. You got a little BMF, man. Hey, hey, man. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Right now, head over to Amazon.com and get my new book, Get Rich and Praise God. No matter what level you at in your life right now, man, this book right here is going to show you how to use the gifts that you were born with to live the life that you deserve, man, and secure that bag like a boss. So head on over to Amazon and check it out. Get rich and praise God. Aye.